Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to film our week four check-in for our budget as well as closing out the month of January. I am super excited to close this month out. It has been a rough month for us and I've heard that it's been the same for a lot of people. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but we just seem, we seem to be off this month. Um, as far as groceries and gas, you're going to see a humongous number for groceries this week or for this month. We are so far over budget. Uh, we also had a lot of unbudgeted expenses. So, we are just like crazy out there with stuff that came up. Um, so with that being said, we um, ended up coming into some more money. So it all kind of evened itself out. Um, and you'll see that once we start going through everything, but I'm just super excited to close this month out and be done. So the first thing I wanna do is if you've never watched my budgeting videos before, you've probably never seen my system. So what I have is this little thing, it's color coded to show what each thing is. Um, as you can see here, I track my expenses. We track our vacations, credit card, and medicine over here. I'm thinking for February, I'm going to change this and do a savings tracker to change my vacation. Um, credit card, you see, we paid a lot on that. So I'll explain that in a minute, but it is now paid off. Um, but we do have our vacation and our emergency fund. So I'm thinking about making a savings tracker to track that instead of tracking it here. That will no longer be here. And so then we would just have medicine. Um, and I thought about making another color for medicine, just not quite sure if I want to tackle that yet or not. So that is the deal. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna lay this up here. You guys won't be able to see it, but we are gonna start with our weekly check-in. So you can see the last things that we checked in, um, everything that's checked off has already been accounted for. So we are gonna start down here on Sunday the 24th. Um, and I'm gonna flip over here really quick and write in week four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just write in everything that we will check in. Um, for those of you that haven't watched me before, everything that I check in over here is the stuff that we go over the most on. Um, that's why it's listed here. I like to try to keep up with it throughout the month so that I can see. As you can tell, we've went over already, like even in week one, we were already over. So, um, but anyways, let's go ahead and track gas. So gas is everything in this deep blue color. So our first gas expense is 49.40, and I'm just gonna check them off as we go. And then over here we have 22.16. And that was it for that. So that gives us a total of $71.56. So that's what we had there. The last time we checked in, we had 69 cent left. If we take out what we spent, we are now in the red for gas, $70.87. So that's where we're at with that one. Let's see, groceries. Groceries is everything in this like, um, it's kind of like a burnt orangey color. Um, so we've got our first one over here at Walmart was $39.86. Then if we jump over here, we had 226.63. And then a buy low trip is 57.18. So that gives us a total of $323.67. Now, if you see, we were already over budget 272.19. Then we can add this to that. So now we are a total of $595.86 over budget. <laughs> so, like I was saying, that's a big number for us over budget. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. All right, the next thing is our fun money. So that's anything in purple, as well as this one brown colored one. I ran out of fun of the purple stickers and I didn't feel like printing any right in the middle of the month. So I just did that one in that color. So our first one is $9.76. Then we have one that is $4.20. Let's switch over here. We've got $28.31. Plus thirteen seventy nine plus four sixty seven plus ten sixty six. All right, and all that together is seventy nine dollars 
$71.39. Now we're gonna definitely be over this time. Um, we had been doing really well with flood money and staying on budget. Last time we checked in, we had $16.40 or yeah, $16.42 left. If we take out that $71.39, that puts us over budget by $54.97 for fun money. And then our last expense was unbudgeted. We did have a few of those. Um, we had a low trip here. Oops, check that off. We had some fees on both of these. That rhymed. And then our last one is this Walmart trip. Um, we bought a card table to have at our house and some chairs. So. That was that one. So we spent a total of $267.42 this week extra. So if we add, let's see, we were already $593.86 over budget. We'll add on that $267.42. And now we are $861.28 over budget for our unbudgeted account. So there we have it. That is everything. Um, you can tell that tobacco is not checked off. I don't track that one. Um, I track it here, but I don't, you know, do a weekly check-in for that. So I just check that one off knowing that I've seen it and it's good to go. So now everything here is done. So we are going to flip over here and close out this budget. So I'm not, I just like to do it all in one thing. Uh, I've got my green and red pins for these. I'm using pin and gear pins. They're from Walmart. I don't know what brand, I don't know if they're like a Walmart brand or, you know, what they are, but I really like them. They're very like fine point. I don't know if you can really see it, um, but they write really smoothly. And then for this pen, I have a Pilot G207. So that is the pens that I like to use. Now for this, this is kind of kind of be where the explaining comes in. I'm going to zoom you guys in some so you can see everything nicely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this, make it easier to write. So for our actual expenses, we had, you know what, I'm gonna put this over here. I've already closed it out and done all the math, so it makes it a little bit easier to do everything here on camera. Um, so for our actual expense, Jeremiah's brought in just for his um, like job, for his paychecks or whatever, uh, $1,802.79, which was a difference of $262.79 from what I thought he'd bring in. So we were to the good there. Now the next one is gonna be a humongous number for miscellaneous and I will explain where this number came from, but I'm gonna put it in first. So we've got $10,891.25. And that put us to the good from what I had budgeted $10,491.25. So let me just stop and explain this number. So we, one got a, or Jeremiah got a stimulus check. I haven't gotten any of the stimulus checks because I was married for most of the part of the last year or not married for most part of last year. And I lived with my parents as a dependent since I'm still in college. And so I was not able or qualified to get the two stimulus checks. So I never got one. Jeremiah did get the $600 one that was the last one. So that's counted in this January budget. And then we also got a chunk of money back from our mortgage. They, I guess over mortgage, I don't really know exactly how we ended up having more money left. Um, but with what they mortgaged, we ended up getting a ton of money back. Um, and we, you'll see that we used this to pay off our credit card. Um, so we completely paid off, which I know is terrible because like our credit cards, credit scores are gonna go down because of that. Um, but we just wanted to get that paid off because it's been an expense that's been over us for such a long time. Um, and it feels good now to have like that paid off and just being able to kind of breathe a little bit. So I will, you'll see this number kind of dwindle down when we get to credit card and stuff, but I just wanted to kind of throw out there why we had such a big number for miscellaneous, um, and, and kind of, you know, put that out there. So. Our total now, if we add those two together, are $12,694.04. So that put us to the good $10,754.04. So there is that. Um, as far as our bills go, our hospitality payment 
was its normal thing, so there's no difference there. Our AT&T bill was slightly higher. It was 207, um, so there was a difference there. So we were actually negative. Um, for that, it was 632, like negative $6.32 because we did not budget what it was. Um, Disney Plus was 748, so there's no difference there. Netflix was 1390, so there's no difference there. Our water bill was, um, wait a second. I'm really confused. Hmm, on my draft, I wrote $50 here. Our water bill ended up being $53, but the rest of my numbers are the same. Okay, so there's no difference there. So that's gonna knock off my math that I did in a minute, but oh well, that's okay. Um, our power bill was $95.39. So we were over, I only budgeted $70. So that put us $25.39 over what I budgeted. Um, State Farm was $200 and, or $234.68. So that put us to the good $5 and 32 cent and then for gas we spent 200 um let's see where am i at 270 dollars and 87 cent and so that put us 70 dollars and 87 cent over what i had budgeted which was 200 now this next number is like the one that made me want to fall out of my seat so we budgeted $300 for groceries and I, I don't know why I thought this, but I was like, that's going to be plenty. Like we can definitely do that. Not a problem. We ended up spending, right, wait for it. It's a big number for us. At least it's a big number, $895 and 86 cent, which put us $595 and 86 cent over budget. So that was insane for us. That was an insane amount. Um, and like I said, I can't figure out why, like, I don't know, I can't pinpoint one reason as to why that was what it was, but you know, it was what it was, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it now. Um, for tobacco, Jeremiah spent 105.03. So that was over budget as well. $23 and three cent for vacation. We only ended up putting $50 in our vacation account. So we were. $50 still to the good. Um, the next one, the credit card. So this is where we paid the credit card off. So we have $6,925.48 went to our card. So that was um, technically a negative of $6,725.48. But like I said, we wanted to get that paid off. So it just feels better now that it's done, um, you know, done and paid off. Medical, we ended up spending $104.95. I'm gonna go ahead and write fun money in too, and unbudgeted. So for fun money, we went slightly over. My pen is like running out of ink. So we have $254.97. And then for unbudgeted, we have another big number of $861.28. So we were over on all three of those. If we jump back up here to medical, we were over by $4.95. Um, fun money, we were over by $54.97. And then unbudgeted is just that total because I don't budget anything. So we were over that same amount. All right, then as far as our totals go, our total for everything here was, um, for my app. Yep, $10,188.78, which would have left us $25,05.26 there. All right, and then I want to check really quick before I write these two numbers in, because since that one number was different, I want to actually go back through and add these up and make sure that this number is correct before I do my subtracting out and see how we did. So I'm just going to quickly run down 
this one. And add all of these up. Oh no, there's supposed to be a zero there. So 1875.95. So no, that was the difference. So this should have been a five. I'm just gonna try to change it to a five right here. So then if we took that and let's see, we were planning on 1940 being our income. If we took out that 1875.95, then that would have been 64.05. Oh all right, and then we've got that there. So now our difference is gonna be different than what I come up with. So we ended up spending that amount, um, and this is what we had budgeted, the 1875.95. So we came out $8,312.83 negative, um, so over budget, but we ended up coming into the good on what we were able to save just because of that big lump sum amount that we brought in that was unexpected. So there is that. So we ended up still being out to the good. Um, now I've gotten a few questions from people on how does um, like this number, do I put my savings into a savings account? What do I do? So yes, the answer is yes. That money um, goes into a savings account, whatever's left, and it's already been moved and everything since how that was such a lump sum, like a bigger number than what we usually have. But yes, that goes into an emergency fund account. Um, currently, we only have two savings accounts. We have one for our vacations and then one for like our emergency fund or whatever. Um, and vacations is a line item, as you guys see every month. And then our other savings down here just goes into that emergency fund. Um, and it's, I guess we can't technically call it an emergency fund because it gets used when it's needed. It's not used for frivolous things necessarily, but when it's needed, it's not like a, you don't touch this unless one of us like gets out of a job or something like that money, if that makes any sense. Um, so I guess it's technically not an emergency fund, but that's what we have it labeled as. Um, and that's just kind of what we've done. That was, that's what works for us. So to answer your question shortly, yes, that amount down here will go into savings. Um, or if it's a negative balance, then it gets pulled from savings to cover all of these expenses. I also wanted to mention, I'm going to zoom you guys out just a little bit more so you can see everything. For my February budget, I got a couple questions on where this $600 came from. So for our February budget, once we added everything up, saw what it was going to cost at a minimum, we realized that we were going to be a little... Um, like negative. So instead of waiting until the end of the month or throughout the month having to pull a little bit here and there from savings, I went ahead and just pulled $600 from savings. Um, and tomorrow on February 1st, I will move that money over into the checking account and that will just stay there and be part of our income for February. I know that's probably not the most correct, and I'm doing this in quotation marks, correct way to do that, but that's just what we did. That's kind of what works for us. So I don't know, you know, you just have to find what works for you. I found with budgeting that I like to watch other people do their budgets and stuff like that. I love watching Sarah Marie, for example. Love, love, love watching her budgeting videos. But even she says you have to find what works for you. Um, and so that this system kind of works for us, especially right now since I don't personally work. Um, I work weekends here and there at the flower shop, but I'm not working full time and my internship is unpaid. So I'm not bringing anything into our house. Um, so we're basically just living off Jeremiah's income. So that savings that we've built over time is really coming in handy now when we can pull from that and, you know, have that money there. So you'll probably see that miscellaneous account for the next few months until I go back into working over the summer. Um, just so that we, you know, it's not like the money's not there, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But either way, that's where that money came from. So just kind of wanted to clarify that. For anybody who was wondering but now that we are done we are completely closed out of january i'm gonna go ahead and move this little dude my little tracker i'm gonna pick him in here 
and we are set and ready to go tomorrow on February 1st. So I'm excited for February. I hope we have a better month in February than we did in January. And I think there's a lot of people who can hold true to that and are, are you know, speaking that into existence because January was just a rough month um, altogether. So super excited for February. I will quit jabbering. If you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, definitely leave it in the comment section below. Um, also check out the description box. If you've never purchased from Erin Condren before, um, you can check out her planners and other stuff. And there's a coupon in the description box for $10 off your first purchase. If you've never set up an account or anything with her. Um, so definitely check that out. Otherwise I just have the planners linked for you guys to see, um, and look at it if it's something you're interested in. So definitely check those out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.